In this video, we're going to be talking about adjectives in French. Now, adjectives, as we all, I'm sure we all know, are things that you use to describe other things, uh, to describe nouns in any form. So, in French, the placement in a sentence is different than we do in English. In English, we put it before the word that it is modifying, but in French, you place it after the object it is modifying. So, for instance, if you're going to say that you had, you're going to say blue eyes, you're going to say les yeux bleus. And the bleu comes after you. Okay, so in the, if we're going to translate this directly to English, we're going to say the eyes blue. Now, this is the rule for all uh, adjectives except for, except for ones that enter into the bags categories, ones that have to do with beauty age, goodness, or size. That's the acronym BAGS. All of these adjectives go before the word that they modify. So for example, if we're going to take uh, an adjective like um, bell, which means beautiful, so we're going to take that and we're going to make that uh, we're going to talk about a beautiful girl. It's going to be une belle fille. Okay, the adjectives comes before the thing that it modifies because it enters into this bags category. Now you need to, obviously, with adjectives you need to make them agree. And we're going to talk about adjective agreement in just a minute. But right now I'm just talking about placement. So placement in the, se in the sentence is most adjectives are going to happen after the thing that they modify, except for any adjective that enters into beauty, age, goodness, or size categories, or the BAGS acronym. So now let's talk about agreement of adjectives. Now, in French, just uh, kind of like in English, in English, our agreement, all that we have to do is add an S to something if it's talking about something plural. In French, it is different. In French, you must make agreement with all of the different cases. So, let's talk about those cases. Firstly, if you're talking about something that is masculine and singular, you add nothing to the adjective. Okay, the form that the adjective is originally in is in masculine singular form. Okay, so if you're talking about something that's masculine and singular, you don't need to add anything. You just leave the adjective the way it is. Now, this is talking about rules for most cases. Okay, there are some different cases, some uh, other adjectives, and we'll talk about that in a couple minutes. But right now, I'm just focusing on most, the rule for most adjectives. Now, if it is talking about something that's masculine and plural, then you're going to add an S on the end, kind of can't see it because of the reflection of the lights in the room, but there's an S. So if something is masculine and plural on the adjective, you add an S to make agreement with the subject. If it is fem talking about something that is feminine and singular, you add an E on the end of the adjective to make agreement. And if it is feminine plural, you add an ES on to the end of the adjective to make agreement with the subject. So let's do an example of an adjective that we would change in a bunch of different ways. So we're, our example that we're going to use here is grand. Grand, as we all remember from our vocab list, grand means tall. It does not mean big, it means tall. So for something that is masculine and singular, do we need to change grand at all? No, we don't. So grand for masculine and singular is just grand. 
Now, if we're talking about something that is masculine and plural, we need an add an we need to add an s. So it is grand. It is pronounced the exact same way. You just add an s. So really, your adjective in this case for masculine and plural, the only difference is when you're writing it, not when you're speaking. You're still going to pronounce it grand. Now, if it's something you're describing something fe feminine and singular, it is going to be grande. Notice that you're pronouncing the D in this uh, adjective this time. Because of the fact that there's an E that follows the D, you pronounce the D. So it is grande for feminine and singular. If it is feminine and plural, it is grande. Okay, it sounds the same as when it is singular, but when you write it, you add an S on the end of it. So there is an ES on the end of it. Like I said, a lot of these changes, they're just for written. But in pronunciation, the, the difference between masculine is grand and feminine is grande. You need to make sure that you're making that distinction as you're speaking, and then when you're writing it out, you need to have that spelling difference. Like I said, this is for most adjectives. This is how it works. So now for our uh, adjectives that don't change. The general rule of thumb is if it, an adjective doesn't change if it ends in an E in the masculine form. So some examples are énergique, sympathique, enthousiaste, and timide. Those are a couple examples. That's not all the examples. Those are a couple. But the general rule of thumb is if it ends in an E in the masculine form, so in the form that you're given, then it, uh, you don't change it at all for feminine. So sympathique, you're not going to put an extra E on the end for feminine. You'll just add an S if it's plural. That's all. Now these are for regular adjectives. There's some other adjectives that I'll make another video about like beau, nouveau, and vieux, and they have crazy different spellings depend, depending on what uh, subject you're talking about, so I'm not going to go over those in this one. This is just for a very simple adjectives. Uh, those others, I'll, like I said, I'll do in another video because they're crazy spelling changes and uh, different cases and things like that, so that's going to be another uh, video for those. So. If you have any questions, you can ask me before, during, or after class. You can also email me questions or submit comments in the comments section of this video. Uh, you are also free to watch this as many times as you'd like so that you can get down what you need to know so that you can do your assessments correctly and uh, hopefully get the grades that you need and uh, understand how to do French correctly. So. We'll see you in class.